What is up guys? All graphics in here again. Today I'm very happy to present to you the All Graphics Scale Figures Pack. This pack contains 15 hand drawn people cutouts in four different styles. And it also comes both in black and white versions. This pack also contains 21 types of vegetations. And all of this for you to better compose your drawings. The Scales Figures Pack is a very fast and good option to improve your presentations. So in this video I'm gonna show you how you can use them with these examples. Well, it is a paid product, but it's also in a fair price. And this is going to help us a lot to grow the channel and dedicate much more time to create free YouTube tutorials. The link to get it is going to be down below on the video description. The pack comes with separate high quality PNG files for you to use in Photoshop and also vector work shape files such as PDFs and AI file that you can use on Adobe Illustrator. Now let me walk you through these simple examples. As you can see it comes as individual files for easy usage. So I'm going to randomly pick some figures and drag and drop into my Photoshop file. Since they are roughly all in the same size, you can shift select all of, the, all of the layers and resize them at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and group all, all of these layers to be able to fast change it to a specific color. So now I'll create a, a layer on top of the group and hit Ctrl Alt G to clip it below. Uh, pick the desired color and hit Alt Backspace to fill in, with, fill in the layer with this color. Now you can use the Hue and Saturation adjustment, uh, Ctrl U, to easily change its color or just pick another one and fill in the layer to replace the color. I'm going to duplicate all of these figures and hit Ctrl E to merge them together so that I can show you how you can invert the color easily from black to white. Now select the layer you want to invert and go to Image, Adjustments, Invert or just hit Ctrl Y for a fast shortcut. Now the same process can be applied to insert the vegetation. Note that this pack also comes with the exactly same files that you're seeing in black but in the white version so you can choose not to use the invert method that I just showed you. But this method can be used to invert your base drawing so you can compose directly into Photoshop. Now let's go for another example, I'm gonna use the same process in this axonometric, but look how amazing the drawing gets just by adding some unique figures slash cutouts like these ones. Now we're gonna go ahead and insert some trees and you can create a variety in the vegetation exactly how you would with the real tree. Just duplicate it, hit Ctrl T to transform, scale it and flip horizontally if needed. Look that I have only shown some types of vegetations but the pack comes with 21 files. It goes from top view trees to elevations with no leaves, full leaves, long trees, short trees. Uh, it's a very complete pack for vegetations. Now I'm just using exactly the same process to fill in some colors with the group made Ctrl Alt G for the shortcut to clip it below and I'm just playing around to show the several possibilities. Depending on how your approach on the image is going to be, you can take it to the next level and add some shadows that are going to add extra details and depth to your image. It is also a very simple process, you just have to duplicate the layer, rasterize it by right clicking and hit Ctrl T to distort it into the correct perspective. This process can be used to add shadows to all the cutouts. At the end, just don't forget to lower the opacity of the shadow layer. While we did not make all of the shadows, 
because each image slash render axonometric will probably have a specific sun direction and shadow opacity. Now I'll take a look how fast and easy the shadows are done in the people cutout. And we're gonna do another example with this uh, big tree on the center of this pavilion. And this one is, is slightly harder. It's not hard, but uh, it takes a little bit more time because we, we're gonna add that little gap between the, the floor and the, the other level. But it's also very easy and just like I said, it's very specific to each image. While these examples were all done using Photoshop and the PNG files, but the pack also has the vector based files just like I mentioned. So feel free to use what makes you more comfortable in either of these softwares, Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. The project of this video was one that I won a national contest here in Brazil. So I'm gonna link the project on my Behance profile on the video description if you guys wanna check it out. So I hope you guys like the scale figures pack. All of the drawings contained in the pack were done by hand with the drawing tablet, so that's why it has a very sketchy look. So let me know what are your thoughts on this. If you would like to check it out and easily get your presentations to the next level, check the link that is on the video description. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye!